don't forget to smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, click that subscribe button. Trust us, it'll be worth it. Thank you. What is up everyone? I am Chris Knight and you are watching The Real Review 3000 here with another weekly wrap up. And this week we're doing just one, not two weeks because that was crazy for our last one. So let's just get right into this. Sunday, we were on quite a bit of stuff. Uh, we were over on Danny's channel, Comic Chat. We were talking Marvel rumors with uh, Mads Mama Bear, Sean Stackhouse. Um, we talked a lot about things upcoming, some stuff about Black Widow and uh, What If and some of that. Go check that out over on his channel. I'll make sure I put the link down below to find that. Um, then we also did the Mandalorian Roundtable like we've done for the whole series. Um, and we wrapped up with season eight, uh, not season eight, but uh, episode eight. And we talked about how most of us believed it was a decent wrap up um, to the first season. So um, check that out. And then we were over on Han Star's channel with Name That Tune. And we had Anthony of Dark Geek Comics on there, Mandy Summers, the creator of Wart the Wizard, DJ Odyssey, and 19K Fox, where DJ Odyssey gained the Dollar Tree Tierra. <clears throat> On Monday, our video was a review of Mark Martell's video of Don't Stop Me Now, where I talk about some of my favorite things about that video and what I really enjoyed about it. We also were over on Thomas Gilkey's channel for a happy stream with Ord's Board, Giovanna Mullen, Mads Mama Bear, and 19K Fox. Also, we were on uh, Rosetta Allen's channel and her stream, her painting stream she was doing um, for just a little bit. Um, with Orange Hat Reviews and Dark Anilis. <clears throat> so check that out. Um, Tuesday, our video was reviewing Queen, Don't Stop Me Now. Uh, we looked at the uh, video they did for that and kind of went over some of the comparisons between that and the Mark Martell video. Uh, Wednesday was New Year's Eve, where I, talk, uh, where I thanked all of you in a video, basically um, closing out the year and starting the new year. Um, Thanking you guys all for a great 2019 and how I'm looking forward to a wonderful 2020. And uh, I hope that we all go on that journey together. <clears throat> we were back over on Comic Chat uh, with Danny again, doing our top 10 superhero or comic book movies with The Chad, Ord's Board, Mads Mama Bear, and Sean Stackhouse. And then Thursday, we did a review of Adam Lambert's first performance with Queen Live. That was in Kiev in 2012. And we looked at their performance of The Show Must Go On. Now, I got a little bit of flack from Adam Lambert fans. And I'm telling you guys, remember, I take requests of things to review. If you think that was an improper video to look at because it was his first performance and he was nervous, by all means, send me something that you want me to review. Send me the video and say, this is what I want you to review. This was a great performance he did. I am not an Adam Lambert hater. I am glad he tours with Queen. Make sure you understand that. But I still think Mark Martell was a better fit for them because it makes it more like Queen. But I understand why the band went with Adam Lambert. Now, as you know, I'm an opinionated person. So that's just how it goes. But please, pay attention to what I say because I'm not a hater. So, with that said, remember... Smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and if you haven't subscribed already, hit the bell so you know when we're coming out with new stuff. And with all of that said, I am Chris Knight. This has been the weekly wrap-up on The Real Review 3000, and I'm officially out of here. Hey guys, thanks for checking us out. Be sure to subscribe to both channels, and make sure to check out our friends in the fandom minutes. You can find us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and BitChute. And you can also send us an email at sean at seanstackhousereacts.com and Chris Knight at therealreview3000.com. Be sure to swing by our Teespring store to pick up some awesome merchandise.